And Toulouse, having won the toss, elected to kick off. Derwin Jones gathers it in straight away. In comes the drive, straight away, Cardiff in control. Good ball, Andy Moore. Not a good kick. There's big Stefan Ugier. Very, very quick fullback. He's done under 11 seconds for 100 metres. Chip through from Castaner. But offside, David McHugh, the referee from Ireland, stamping his authority early on. Castaner finds a good touch just outside the card of 22. Had a tremendous two matches against New Zealand when they were touring France in the autumn. France fielding two 20-year-old centres. He partnered uh, Richard Dewitt. Immediately bringing the backs into play and Untermack couldn't quite hold on to the pass. But Cardiff took an early warning by Toulouse of their attacking intentions. Very good crowd here, over 20,000. More feeds. Tazel Boo, the Toulouse from half. And Cardiff getting a good shove on, Tazel Boo offside. The referee's seen it, but plays advantage. Uzi 8, straight into touch. Stefan Ouzier, three caps. And then had to give away to Sadouni, but he's a very exciting attacking player. Gavin Jones has already got an advantage and soaring high there. Harry Taylor, the kind of captain you could see complaining that he was held. Knocked forward by Cardiff, scrum down to lose. David McHugh really laying down the law there. De Spagna out to the scrum half, uh, but Cardiff are offside up too quickly. Good touch. And again, Toulouse. Camp just outside the Cardiff 22. De Spagna out to Casalbu. Anthony Taylor it was who got in the hit. Good clean take, two-handed. But they lose that time, they get the drive on. Good wedge shape. Back it comes, Kazal Bu, Delo puts it wide. Uge, lovely run from the fullback, cuts wide again. Almost there. Oh! He was over, and then not back again. It's still on though for Toulouse. Castaned, and he's over this time. Great try for Toulouse, and Thomas Castaned showing great concentration there to hold on to the ball as he really got man and ball at the same time. So an early try to Toulouse. It came. They low with the long pass. Then back inside from Carboneau to Ugier. Look at the way he cut out. Now at that point, I think he was going for the line, but he cleverly held on when he realised he wasn't going to get there. Fed it back. And look at that. Mark Ring almost getting a hand in, but Thomas Castaned didn't take his eye off the ball. And here's Christophe Delo. Oh, it's a great kick from the touchline. And Delo, the man who can never produce the goods for France, but always seems to produce them for Toulouse, makes it 7-0.
tremendous run from Ugier, cutting inside, and then the important move was the way he went out again. Stretching out for the line, then he got it back. De low to Castaned, and the try. Simon Hill. Not forward by Cardiff, scrum down to lose. Good pass from Mark Ring, getting it wide, but the execution at the end was just not good enough. Perhaps Simon Hill a bit too flat. Throws the miss pass, Berti. Oh, and Castaner away again. Tremendous pace down the left. Ray against him, but his cousin Boo. And he's over. Another stunning try from the French champions. Just 10 minutes gone. And cousin Boo makes it 12 0 to Toulouse. Cardiff now really staring down the barrel. A great try this. De Low making things flow behind. Ugier into the line again. Berti tackle. And then Castaned with that loop around. Great pace. Rea just gets the tackle in, but there's Casaldu. And if he hadn't scored, there was Didier Lacroix in support as well. De Low hooks his conversion too much. But it's still 12-0 to Toulouse. Only 10 minutes gone, and Cardiff now really know they're up against it. What a great run from Castaned. And there was the support. Emil Lewis got to him, but too late. This is touch. Rea. Hoisting it high. It's a good one, just outside. Ugier can't pick it up. Chance here. And he can't quite hold on to the ball. What a pity. Mike Rea. Had half a chance there for Cardiff. And they're going to need to take those half chances if they're to get back into this match. He sliced that one. In the absence of Lacroix, he did the kicking against the All Blacks. It's Patrick Sula. Just uh, having a few words with the referee, sorting out. Difference of opinion. In goes Jonathan Humphreys to set it up. Adrian Davis. Good support from Michael. Oh, but Cardiff then can't win the quick ball. To lose diving over the top though, and a penalty to Cardiff. Adrian Davis immediately signals the goal. Just again, half a chance here. And if Cardiff could have recycled this one, they'd have been in business. David just squirted out of control out of the side. They've got the penalty there. Good kick. Straight through the middle from Adrian Davis. First points for Cardiff. They still trail though, 3 to 12. Castaner, the right way for Rea. 
the dummy. Oh my goodness, in awful trouble. Cardiff lucky there, but Mark Ring putting them back into trouble. What the Diggins are they doing? And again, they're rescued. They were very lucky and knocked forward from Toulouse. But my goodness, what were they thinking of? Really casual slapdash rugby from Cardiff. And they almost put themselves in deep trouble again. Andy Moore. Adrian Davis putting it back to this side. Good touch. Top to lose again. Emmy Taylor coming up with the ball, and there you can see the two loose players just diving in on the floor. Hands in the ref as well. That's uh, what the referee wanted to be. Good kick right through the middle, and Adrian Davis on target again for Cardiff, and there. Fighting their way back into this match. Toulouse is still leading 12 points to 6. The Spaniard couldn't quite get to it. Toulouse have it though. Ugier back inside to enter back. Lovely angle he took there to get into the line. Gets the pass away to. You can see the signal from David McHugh, the referee. And the seconds ticking away to half time. That's enough, says the referee. The half time score to lose 12, Cardiff 6. A chance to look at those two glorious scores from Toulouse. Ugier with that lovely inside outside run. See how he had Entermac there from the other wing in support as well. And when it came again, Castaned, knowing exactly where the line was. And Castaned again setting up the second try. Great support again from the French. They always get men there in numbers. Adrian Davis restarts. Gathered in by El Manuel, the big flanker. Six foot seven. Ricardo. Get the scrum. touch of the ball having come on as a replacement at half time and what does he get a ball standing still <laughs> this was the moment all the Cardiff crowd have been waiting for Jonathan Davis onto the field as a replacement for Mark Ring and can he work the magic that Cardiff need if they're to snatch this final away from Toulouse? Delo throwing several dummies. Carbono getting into a, a bit of a tussle there with Adrian Davis.
see the dig onto Owen Williams's chin, and Califano gets the warning. took him out deliberately but you can see the kick too far ahead over the try line and it was a simple job for Ujie to touch down just knocked forward he stopped the ball going into touch but he knocked it forward so it's a scrum down to Toulouse sets it up twice, penalty offside. Both the goal says Owen Williams. We need the points, there's plenty of time to go, let's get close to these people. And there is. 36 caps for Wales, 21 is Flanco, 15 is number 8. Is there setting it up? Adrian Davis, and it's good. He's back on target, having missed a couple. And Cardiff now within three points. All credit to the Cardiff forwards. They've really been grinding their way back into this game. Jonathan Davis hoists it, but again Ugier underneath it, and he's away. He cannot afford to kick to this fullback. He's such a dangerous counter attacker. Again, Cardiff lucky. The pass slightly forward. If they could have won the ball there, the try was on. And 
And there you can see Toulouse clinging on grimly, determined that whatever happens, they're not going to let that ball out. And suddenly, Dave is off target. Castaner runs it dead. 22 drop out. Well, he's kicked beautifully. You can't really blame him too much. But that would have brought Cardiff over. It's not as long as Rayo would have liked. The Spaniard, though, makes a mess of trying to tidy it up. Dirty. And he gets. Immediately, the two news guys dive in on him on the floor. They've got to stay on their feet. There's the offender, number four, Hugues Mira. Oh, and he's missed again. Suddenly, the pressure getting to Adrian Davis. One of those two penalties would have brought Cardiff level. Swansea in the semi-final. A bigger man than Lacroix. Bertie setting it up. Cardiff trying to get a hand in there, but to lose habit. Below, below at scrum half. Castaner with the drop goal. It's over. Wrenches his fists in delight. He really is a tremendous find for Toulouse and for France. Thomas Castaner just puts daylight between the sides. Just when Toulouse must have been getting anxious. Always his intention. He stood straight back there and just hits it absolutely. Hard and true through the middle. Fifteen nine then to lose leading six points now between the two teams. Cardiff getting the drive on from the Derwin Jones catch. Tony Taylor trying to set it up. In goes in and Musto. Still trying to stop the roll. Owen Williams, though, coming off the side. Andy Moore. Back it comes this time. Bit of room this time. Cross from the other wing. That was Simon Hill. But they didn't have the pace. To lose defending well. And Mike Hall just unable to get away. But there was just a hint of a gap. Jonathan Davis out to Mike Hall. Across came Simon Hill. Back inside to Mike Hall. And it wasn't a knock on quite right for the referee. Cardiff have it, but it's not a good one. He almost charged down, and it was a knock forward. The referee spotted it, it won't be a try. Bad luck for Cardiff, Simon Hill thought he was in there. But good refereeing again. It's very easy in the hustle and bustle of a charge down to miss something, but 
It wasn't the charge down that was considered the knock-on. It was a little forward pass after that. Good kick from Delo this time, finding touch just outside the 22. Here we can see that chance again. There's the charge down, and there's the knock forward. It's fine from here, and Simon Hill out in the clear, but no try. Owen Williams charging through, but again just the tiny nudge forward, robbing Cardiff of an opportunity. season with a bad leg injury, broke it against Triorki. Now uh, fit and well playing again, but one wonders whether he hasn't lost a little bit of pace. As I do. a chance line out penalty given away by two lose just shows the pressure they've been under and this 15 meters in from the right touch line he's on target this time and the gap reduced to three points Cardiff 12 to lose 15 to go and Cardiff rolling off that ball setting up another attacking position Derwin Jones winning the line out good ball but to lose tackling the hearts out Jonathan Humphreys forced back Moore Davis up goes the upper number Ogier had to jump to catch it so he couldn't mark it and make it safe that'll be a scrum to to lose he was tackled as he caught the ball, had no chance of releasing it. And in that situation, the scrum goes to the defending team. Big push by Cardiff. They almost got the shove on to lose. to reset the scrum. Cardiff, you can bet your life, will be going for the same big shot again. The eight-man push. Oh, and the scrum's gone down. To lose it, better be careful. They were under pressure at the first scrum. The second one's gone down. If they go down again, it'll certainly be a penalty, and it could even be worse. That's the try line. Oh, and Kazelbu's caught behind his own scrum. Cardiff now have the attacking scrum they need just to the left of the post. A great chance for them. Lord Portolano, the tight head prop, has got to really use all his 18 stones plus to anchor that scrum. Solid and going for the secondary shot. There they go, digging in again. It's not going to happen because Andrew Lewis has gone down. Just lost his footing as they were going for that big push. And this time, if anything is to lose, he's got the, the edge on the push. comes down on this side it should really be set again but the referee happy to let it go and it comes Jonathan Davis but again he was running flat and wide left it absolutely nowhere to go and the result of that a net loss to Cardiff for some 10 metres
the Espania who's worked tremendously hard all game, getting in there, getting those massive hands on the ball. He's taken over the number eight role from Albert Zagania, who was the captain of Toulouse and has now moved across to Cask. And really, the Cardiff backs have never looked a match for the Toulouse backs. That's been the story of the match in many ways. There's a blue back to Goulou. Fine touch. Another great game from Christophe Delo, the man of the match in the last two French Championship finals. Off the top from Wakeford. Ian Carney looking, this time they found his face. Michael, chip ahead, he's winning the race too. Oh, and the ball wouldn't pop up for him. But Cardiff right on the line. Desperate moments for Toulouse, and Cardiff so unlucky there. Mike Hall getting clean through for the first time. And if the ball had popped up right for him, he had to score. Looking for the big push, here it comes. Down goes the scrum again, but the ball released. Wide, but Jonathan Davis again gets man and ball at the same time. And he couldn't get the ball down, he couldn't even set up the rut. Again, very ponderous back play from Cardiff. And they lose fully 10 metres, we're into injury time now, that really was probably their last chance. Casabu to Delo. Close to another charge down, but he got the kick away. Here he was Udo Muller, making sure it goes into touch. Looking at the referee, now he's going to allow the line out. Poor throw almost for the first time. They totally missed Derwin Jones. And Cardiff have got to run this back. A little dummy, but Steve Ford collared by Casaldo and Castell. Put a long way offside, but the referee saying he wasn't in the theory. Cardiff captain, Henny Taylor, bursting away, lays it back. The drive again. Cardiff have got to keep this one going. Next time the whistle goes, it'll surely be the end. Penalty Cardiff, though, as Toulouse do anything to prevent that ball coming out. Now, is it within Adrian Davis's range? It's about 43, 44 metres. He must surely go for goal. Death or glory. Great kick, right on target. A tremendous kick from Adrian Davis. Didn't he do well under the pressure? And that is the final whistle. The scores are level, and we'll go into 15 minutes each way of in injury time. It's only now that the whistle's gone, but Adrian Davis has given himself time to uh, go. Phew. That was a close run thing. 15 all. What a great final it's been. Didn't he do well? Look at the way he kept his head down and just went straight through it. And he had meters to spare. Great kick from Adrian Davis. He was a soccer blue at Cambridge as well as a rugby blue. And his football skills showing through there. De Low with the restart. 15 minutes each way. And if the teams are level at the end of extra time, then the cup will be shared. All the way through the competition. The side which has scored most tries would have gone through to the next round, but uh, here in the final, the cup will be shared. Califano, sloppy work by Cardiff. They struggle to get away, not in touch. And to Mac, 
And this time forced into touch, but right down by the Cardiff corner flag. Cardiff must come up with this ball. They go to Wakeford at the front. Good time jump. More with the kick. Andy Moore. The current Welsh scrum half. He's got three caps. Made his debut against Japan in the World Cup. Sula. Picked off by Mira. Oh, Cardiff. Coming up. Immediately that ball was caught in the line-out and they weren't allowed to do that because it was a two-handed catch. The line-out was deemed not over. So they had to stay back uh, 10 metres until it was released. Castell setting it up for Cardiff offside. This peculiar round the corner style from Delo, but it works, he's on target. First blood in extra time, two to lose. 18-15, they lead. Amazingly round the corner from uh, Delo. So in the second half now, and to lose, clinging on to that three-point lead, courtesy of Delo's penalty in the first period of extra time. Derwin Jones lays it back. Adrian Davis just pushing for position in the corner, but it's not bounced kindly for him. 22 dropout to Toulouse. Mola doing the retrieving. Dropout, they don't care where it goes as long as it goes into Cardiff territory. Jonathan Davis looking for one to bounce just inside. Hole bounced right on the line, inches from being a great kick. Well, that makes it a poor one, and they've got to come all the way back to the Cardiff 10 metre line. That just on halfway the line up. And Nigel Walker about to come on for this man, Steve Ford. And Nigel Walker, the Olympic 110 metres hurdle semi-finalist in 1984, will add real pace. Walker, also a Welsh international, but he's not been able to regain his place in the Cardiff first team since uh, his shoulder injury. But if they can get the ball to him in space, he'll be the quickest man on the field. Derwin Jones can't cling on, but he got it at the second attempt. Andy Moore, good little break. Owen Williams. They get back to him, but there's Cardiff there in numbers. Wakeford. Musto. Now there's some space. Nigel Walker almost gets away. Delo clinging on to him. And Toulouse come up with the all-important piece of possession. Delo with the kick. He's missed touch again. He's content to put it up into the Cardiff half. That's all right. Space out there. Simon Hill. And just bumped away by Carver. No, it was unnecessary. Penalty to Cardiff, and it's in range. That was silly by Carver. No, he didn't need to do it. But he just uh, gratuitously knocked Simon Hill out of the way after the kick had gone in. And Adrian Davis gets a chance again to level the scores. Already the hero with that last second penalty. He's done it again. So, second period of extra time. 
Just a few minutes left and still nothing between the sides. 18 all. And they'll share the trophy if it stays like this. Been a great final. Jones with the catch. Again, the pattern is very clear. Cardiff with that extra little bit of power in the forwards are determined to attack through there. Oh, but Despania comes away with it. Great work by the Toulouse number eight, and suddenly it's Cardiff back on defence. few people who really didn't uh, give this competition much support and didn't think it would take off they must surely now be persuaded that this is the shape of the future more than 20,000 here on a Sunday afternoon in January in Cardiff for this first ever Heineken Cup final Sula looking battered Good catch by Herb Manon. And Toulouse getting the roll on. Derwin Jones goes in on the far side to stop the roll. But they're playing forward. And rolling off at exactly the right moment. Back it comes, now there's space, they low. And to back into the line. Oh, but my goodness, if he'd let the ball go there. They're still on the attack, Castell. Good tackling. Andrew Lewis getting down, Castell. But my goodness, if De Lowe had just spun the ball wide there, it was a nice little dummy and move with Entomac in the middle. But it really wasn't necessary. They had extra men out wide. And I think on that occasion, had they just passed wide, the try was on. control, otherwise I think we might have seen a drop goal attempt but Kazalbu caught and driven backwards Delo the drop goal attempt charged down oh it's a penalty no doubt at all the man who can't believe it is Andrew Lewis but he was the guilty one that was a ruck, the ball was on the floor and he went in digging for it with his hands but all he can say is that Toulouse have put on tremendous pressure set up by Artigust now look at that, that ball is on the floor and there's Andrew Lewis digging in there with his hands the youngster who's only 22 and that was a painful learning experience because now Christophe Delo has this kick surely for the match. We're now into injury time in the second period of extra time. As Delo takes his time to make sure he runs the clock down. But there's been a little bit of injury. And he's got to kill it over, but surely it's a formality. Right in front. Yeah, he keeps calm. No problems at all. And Toulouse, with no time left at all, go into the lead, 21 points to 18. Courtesy of Christophe Delou. And even the referee blowing. It has been a tough old game out there for everybody. And Cardiff have got to regain possession. They haven't managed to score a try yet. Oh, great charge down, and that could have gone anywhere. They're so lucky it went to Ugier. He cleared to touch, and Toulouse have won it. The referee has blown for full time. The final score, Toulouse 21, Cardiff 18, and nobody can 
begrudge them their victory. A great first half from the two loose players, two tries in those first ten minutes, and worthy winners, as I'm sure even the Cardiff players will accept. A terrific match concludes what's been a highly successful first season of European club competition, which found fitting champions in the French club to lose. The Heineken Cup will return for the 96-97 rugby union season, and this time clubs from England and the districts of Scotland will also be involved. It already appears to be a tournament with a big future. For the record, the 15 matches played to an average crowd of 6,500 fans per game.